Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Nina Warhurst and Charlie State. Our headlines today. It's Saturday the 2nd of January. Good morning. Our top story, the country's largest teaching union is calling for all schools in England to close for two weeks. The number of hospitals are now facing a worse situation than at the peak of the first wave of the pandemic last year. That's according to the president of the Royal College of Physicians. Rescue teams in Norway say they're preparing to step up their search for nine people missing after a landslide near the capital Oslo on Wednesday. Well, well, I'm not sure how much we learned from that, but it, that was the reveal moment. I like it. It's not the end of the world, or is it? That's <laughs> what that meant, wasn't it? Uh, let's check in with Chris for a look at this morning's weather. Good morning. Hi, Nina. Hi, Charlie. 6.20, that means it's time for this week's travel show. Let's check in with Chris now for another look at this morning's weather. Very good morning to you. Beautiful. So that, uh, we need to strap ourselves in for a couple of weeks of this. It's going to get colder, isn't it? Well, it could do. I mean, certainly it's not going to warm up. Thanks, Chris. See you later on. Time now is 6.43. It's Saturday, the 2nd of January. Good morning. Our top story, the country's largest teaching union is calling for all schools in England to close for two weeks. A number of hospitals are now facing a worse situation than at the peak of the first wave of the pandemic last year. Let's have a chat with Chris Saturday morning. How's the weather looking for the weekend, Chris? Hello, this is Breakfast with Nina Warhurst and Charlie State. Good morning. Now, for the last year, we've been following the journey of rugby league star Rob Borrow. He talks to Sally Nugent about his fight against the disease, how his rugby career has prepared him for the challenge.